Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Fallout New Vegas. Well, I bit the bullet, as I said last time. I wanted the textures to be even nicer, so I did install the uh, biggest pack. The large texture pack. And the textures are... I think? Nicer? Hmm, that's odd. Well, the wood is certainly nicer, and I th Well, I think most of this stuff looks... Much nicer now. Hmm. Not entirely sure. That's odd. Well, we'll probably see some uh, changes later on. Hopefully. I don't know. Hopefully there's no uh, conflict uh, with mods. And I'm also running that injector or whatever it is that allows you to have more than 2 gigabytes of RAM used for this game. Because obviously it only runs in 32 bits architecture so anyway let's uh, let's proceed let's go to the prospector saloon over here well we'll get our uh, tutorial so that's gonna be fun wow that uh, load time is a bit atrocious Rawr. Cheyenne stay don't worry she won't bite unless I tell her to oh okay don't tell her then Doc Mitchell said you could teach me to survive in the desert yeah I guess there's a thing or two I could show you Sounds like you need all the help you can get after what they done to you. Meet me outside, behind the saloon. Now normally I wouldn't do the uh, uh, this intro, but I think it gives you that additional little quest with the gecko, so we're probably gonna do that. Um, there's stuff over here. Oh man, these terminals. The flashing arrow in your compass. Oh yeah, I've also modded the, um, the pip boy so... Boom! It says a lot more light now with the pip boy It's kind of nicer, I think. Um, right, nothing here really. Let's go behind the saloon and see what she has to tell. Now, see the sarsaparilla bottles on the fence there? Uh huh. Take this and try to hit a couple of them. All right, give me. Oh, already gave me the environment raffle. Right, so let's see. Can I can I get right up close? I don't know. Anyway, oh yeah, also. Wait a second, didn't I get the textures for the weapons? No, apparently I didn't. Also, I got the updated um, stances for weapons and such, so he doesn't look so weird when walking with them, as you can see. Anyway. God, we look atrocious. What? That's the right idea. Look down the sight. Try crouching down and staying still. It'll help your aim. Nice shot. Well, that's a start. But I don't reckon you came to me to learn to fight sarsaparilla bottles. Tell you what, I gotta go chase geckos away from our water supply anyway. Darn critters are attracted to it. Why don't you come along? Sure, I'm in. Follow me. It's just down to the southeast a short ways. For some reason, I really enjoy this little uh, intro quest. Probably because it has our old friends the geckos that I've completely missed in Fallout 3. You know, I really like these classic... Um, uh, classic monsters. So, we're on our way. Yeah, the, uh, the armor on her, I think, looks a lot nicer. Because I have the upgraded, um... Upgraded, uh, clothes as well. And I also have a mod that adds various dead flora. Or well, sort of, dead-ish. I think this is all ha this all has been added. I'm not entirely sure, but anyway, yeah, hopefully it's going to make everything look a bit nicer. I didn't uh, opt for the really huge crazy filters like the Wild West and such mods uh, that make the the game look like a Wild West film because I think it would be a little too grating perhaps and I, it it also required like three other mods and I'm just not a fan of that. There's way too much stuff you need then. And it just becomes a mess as I said. Ooh. Hear that up on the ridge behind me there? We got some geckos to clear out. All right. Bunch of little monsters is what they are. Seems like Doc Mitchell treats more <laughs> gecko bites than anything else. Let's see if we can get a little closer. If we move quietly, we can get the jump on them. More likely to hit something vital that way. Got it. All right. Yeah, I remember I was using an HDR mod as well, but... <clears throat> hmm. Maybe, maybe I should use it again. We'll see. Okay, you're on. <clears throat> Go give them hell. All right, they'll probably see me before uh, I even get there, but I'll try anyway. Funny animations. Right, there they are. 
That wasn't it. That was not it at all. Now the caution means they haven't seen us yet. They are just aware that uh, there is something here. There we go, that was a nice shot. <clears throat> there we go. You take a sip from your trusty Vault 13 canteen. But I do believe you need to fill it, right? Otherwise that would be kind of crappy. Detected. We are detected by her. See? You're getting the hang of it. Thank you. There's two more wells that still need clearing. You want, you can come along. It'd be worth a few caps to me. Sure. I'll come with you. Shouldn't take more than a couple minutes, especially with two of us. Come with me. Excellent. Then she gave us more, um, 556 five, ammo, so that's nice. Oh, look at that little haze over there. That looks nice. Oh yeah, this is definitely new, I think. All these trees. But then again, as I said, I haven't played this game in such a long time that uh, I've forgotten most of the things. Ooh, it's getting dark. Ooh. Let's go for this. Welcome to VATS. Yes, I know how VATS works. Ooh, that's not very good. Um, oh, whatever. Let's just do this then. Not very good with that, are we? Yeah. What's going on? There's another one? Where are you running off to? Hey! Sunny smiles. She's gone all the way around. Uh, I've bound the uh, auto run to Q, so I can just press Q and, you know, keep running, which is kind of nice. Uh, it's getting very dark. Interesting. That's the uh, weather effect. Oh, that's a sandstorm, apparently, I think. Pretty cool. Ooh. Oh, that's it. Come on. Gotta gotta help her. Nice. Yeah. So what's this? Briefcase, toy car. Not really interested in that. Hey, where you going? Oh, she's hurt. Quite a bit. Now that was some good work. Even got a little exciting there at the end. Here's a little spending money for the trouble. One oh, more thanks. thing I wanted to show you. Thought I might teach you about living off the land and making useful things for yourself. Interested? Sure, couldn't hurt. All right then. We'll need a couple ingredients to get started. Gonna want some Xander root and a Brock flower. Let me think now. I know I've seen Brock flowers growing up at the graveyard, and I seem to remember there being Xander root over by the schoolhouse. Bring those on back to me, and we'll get cooking. All right. So let's talk to her. Holy moly. If you hadn't come here like you done, I'd be a goner for sure. I came up here to draw water, but here, you should have what I got. You look thirsty. I think that's the same voice actress. You have established a reputation. Blah, 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 smiling troublemaker. Yeah, good, good. Some good, a little bad, blah, blah, blah. Uh, folks have accepted you for your helpful nature. Thank you. <clears throat> yeah, I think that's the same voice actress. Um, anyway. Gecko hides. Mm, yeah, I can take it, but only for now. I'll take the meat and such. There's a lovely water. Now, I believe that the Vault 13 Canteen... Where is it? Is not... You know, it does not have unlimited water, because if it has, that would be sucky. Now, there are mods out there with which you can fill, you know, water bottles and such. Um, but yeah, I just, as I said, I don't want too much stuff. Let me take some scrap electronics. Right, so we need to find some Xander root and Brock flower. I already forgot. Oh yeah, she said, um, schoolhouse and the graveyard. So we're gonna go over there. Yeah, that's kind of nice uh, weather here. Also, some people have been afraid that, you know, considering that uh, everything is voiced in Fallout 3 and New Vegas, there wouldn't be a lot of commentary, which is, in a way, it's true, but then at the same time, you can see that there will be a lot of traveling and such and fighting where I will be commentating a lot, so you don't have to worry about that. And besides, why would you want to listen to me anyway? It's horrible. It's just blah, 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 blah all the time. This, ugh. Yeah, th these textures are a lot nicer, as you can see. So that is a big plus. <clears throat> right. And also, so far, you take a sip from your trusty Vault 3rd. Who's that? 
Yo, powder Never. again. Damn, you eyeballing me? Shut up. I hate these powder gangers. Stupid kids. Right. <clears throat> so let's go to the schoolhouse first, then to the uh, graveyard over up there, and uh, we'll get some stuff done. I kind of miss this, you know. It's really fun walking around with a three D environment. White horse nettle. Um, yeah, and and you know, doing stuff like this in a world you you really like, like the Fallout world. Oh wait, the school is over there, right? I think that's the school. Hello, Big Horner. Hello. I still have to talk to uh, Vic as well. Maybe we should do that right now. Uh, and a coffee mug. Don't need that. Don't want it. Victor Shack. Victor is kind of a funny guy. Oh. He's not here. Oh. He's somewhere outside. Um... Nothing here, which does mean I can steal some stuff from him, <laughs> of course. 9 millimeter, but actually, he doesn't consider it stealing, as you can see, it's not red. So we can just take whatever we want. Repair kit, that's not too bad. Okay. Ah, he's over there. Let's go over here to the, uh, this place first. Empty Sunset Sarsaparilla bottle. Well, I can hear them already. Yep, danger. That means they are. we are under attack. Nope. Oh, head. That's nice. Bang! Lovely. Giant Mantis Nymph. 71. Not too bad. And we missed. Don't want it to come anywhere near me. We crippled its legs. And now it's gonna die. Alright, let's get in there. And get that, uh... Oh yeah, it's not inside, of course. It's around here that the uh, Xander root and such... ...grows, but we don't care about that. We're just gonna go over here. That was a critical hit. Very nice. Ugh. Your weapon is in poor condition. You can blah 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 blah. Yep. I need to do that. Experiment rifle. Crap. Ow. Get off. Ow, they got me in a corner. That's not very nice, is it? Let's get this one. For some reason, it takes a while until you can actually... You know, click on things here in that. Well, that was one hit. Wasn't very good. Where's the other one? Yeah, the condition on this rifle is quite poor now. There we go, that's what I want. Excellent. Yes, we know it's dead. I, I could, um... I'm gonna say that. Ooh, what the hell happened? Is that because we actually tore the leg off? That's pretty cool. Um, now I could actually, um, disable cinematic view. And I'll... Possibly I'll do that. We'll see if it gets too annoying. Empty locker. Oh yeah, we can do this. Bung. Ah, so nice. Let's see. Yeah, it does. That's pretty cool. Is that due to a mod? Or I don't remember that happening. That's pretty cool. When you take their legs, it actually does pull them off in a fairly gruesome way. Cherry bomb. Toy car. Not really interested in that. Oh, Salesman Weekly. I think that only temporarily increases... Barter plus 10. Yeah, that only temporarily increases your bartering. Which is kind of a shame, but then at the same time... Eh, not too bad. Bottle caps, which is money. There's another Mantis Otika or whatever it is. Wait a second, I'm gonna take that, even though I'm probably gonna just drop it all, because I 
I'm always too full and things. Programmers digest. Another toolbox. Ah, here we go. Now, you will get extremely frustrated when I try to uh, my science on these computers because I've never really gotten the hang of it, to be completely honest. Um, first of all, though, we will open this safe. Uh, because if we used our computer science skill on the computer to open the safe, we would not get the safe unlocking XP. Vantage Nuka Cola, not bad. Stealth Boy, very nice stuff, jeez. Right, so let's see. Oh. Oh no! I thought you could do both. Oh no. You can't. Okay. Oh no, that's a broken one. Or maybe it wasn't until we uh, lockpicked. Okay, Nuka Cola truck. Right, so let's uh, find that Xander root and Brock flower. We know what, that hap what happens with that, right? Healing powder. Remember, it clouds the mind as it heals the body. So where is it? Should be around there in the front, I believe. Oh, be, might be this. Jalapeno. Mm. Jalapenos are good. Right, so where are they? They should be growing somewhere around here. Um, we even have a uh, pointer. Oh yeah, it's these things. There we go. Pig Xander root. Lovely. Right, so we've got some Xander root. Now we have to go and get the... Uh, we have to go to the cemetery and get the other things. Where's Vic? I want to talk to him. Oh, what a nice place. Come on, where is he? Oh, look at that haze in the distance. That looks cool. I also want to go to the gas station, I think. To uh, start that quest. But actually, we'll come back later. We'll come back soon. No, you know what? We're gonna do it now. To save on time, because I shudder to think of how many episodes this is going to take. <laughs> I really have no clue. Oh, I don't remember these... ...blinking like that. That's interesting. Yeah, take all the Sunset's Asperilla. Not really sure why you can take them all without paying, but I guess these machines are... ...broken. Oh. Requires a key to open? What? I don't remember that being the case. Oh, I guess you get the uh, the quest after you do this here. Okay, that's fair enough. We also have to talk to um, is it Judy or something, in charge of the saloon? Yeah. So let's go over there to the cemetery first. Nothing here. I also have to reload this. Even though it's in really poor condition now. But, oh well. Ooh, that's a... Hello, Mr. Scorpion. Let's go for this stinger. Mmm, that didn't do that much damage. Ugh. Bark Scorpion. Ugh. Don't like it. Is that new combat music? It's been so long, I honestly can't remember whether that's uh, some new DLC music or not. Yeah, look at all that haze. Okay, I'll stop uh, mentioning it now. It's kind of nice. So there are some bees over here, if I remember correctly, and I do. They won't necessarily attack you if you don't get too near, I believe. As you can see, we are detected, but we're not attacked. Um... Oh, I just want... I'll probably get attacked now. Cool sound effects. Keep out. Look at that. That's New Vegas. Right there. Um, right, so I want to get to this grave of mine over here. Yes, I know you're not too happy about it. But I need those cigarettes. Ow. 
Ugh. Horrible looking thing. Oh, that one wants a piece of the action as well. Nice headshot. Uh, where are the cigarette butts? There they are. I'll take one. And I need the flowers. Brock flower, there we go. That's what we need. And now we can continue back. Trusty Vault 13 Canteen. I really hope that it's not... Um, that it doesn't have unlimited water, because that will defeat the entire purpose of... Um, Hardcore mode. Well, we still have to eat, I believe. Where are actually those stats? Um, general. No. There we go. Sleep. Okay, that's fine. Food and H2O. Alright. Yeah, so we need to sleep and eat and all of that. I kind of like that addition. I actually had a mod that was really comprehensible. Um, comprehensible. <laughs> Comprehensive it, it, and complex. It had calories intake, outtake, uh, this, that, loads of stuff, which is kind of interesting. Oh, this is one of the new plants, which... Hmm. I kind of think that's kind of bugged. Damn. Well, most of the other stuff is fine, I think. Oh, I think I know why. The high texture pack overrode some of this stuff yeah oh that's a shame i might have to reapply that we'll see anyway see this is why i don't like having too many mods because some of them will conflict with each other you know in worst case scenario the game will just crash um but you know in the other case it'll happen like this where i believe the the model is not there but the texture is too big or something i don't know whatever Let's bring the Brock flower and the Xander root to uh, Sunny Smiles over here, so she can teach us about survival. I need some better weapons. But then again, we're only level one. Hello, geckos. I see you're still dead. And there's Chan. Click. Ooh, that looks cool. Hello. Let me see what you got. <clears throat> Yeah, these will do just fine. Just fine. All right now, we're gonna be making something folks on the trail call healing powder. Go on over to that campfire now. Give it a try. All righty. <clears throat> healing powder. There we go. Perception minus one, HP plus one. Let's make it. Hey, that's not bad, see? All it takes to make a recipe is the right ingredients and the right know-how. Sometimes it won't be a campfire you need. Might need to do some work on your guns and ammo, maybe. Important thing to get is it's all the same idea. You just need to find the right place to set up shop. Workbench or reloading bench, whatever. Well, I hope that's <clears> enough <throat> to get you started. I'm heading back now. Hope I didn't miss anything good on the jukebox. Cheyenne would never forgive me. Hey, do me a favor. Trudy, she's the bartender up at the Prospector. Kind of the town mom. She likes to meet newcomers. She'd be cross with me if I didn't ask you to poke your head in and say hi. Okay, that's pretty good. Thank you. Um, no, the funny thing, one when I, once when I was playing this, and I did this part, I uh, went back and then heard shooting, and I believe that uh, a bunch of geckos ambushed her and killed her. Or at least killed Cheyenne or something. I can't quite remember. So don't, uh, you know, don't take my word for it, but yeah, something funny happened. Anyway, let's go back and now we can properly start. Our uh, exploration, questing, and everything. Yeah, I have no idea how many parts this will take. I shudder to think. <laughs> but we'll see. We'll see. Might be fun to watch. Might not be. You might get, uh, you know, really tired of my babbling in uh, about um, 2.4 seconds. We'll see. So first of all... I don't actually know what the time of the day is. We can check it on the Pip Pip Boy, I believe. There's quite a lot of houses here. Saloon! Oh, that was some gunfire. Let me check. Uh, where do we check that? 1935. Okay, so it's evening. I think she'll still be there. In the saloon. Let's 
go talk to her. Door to Prospector Saloon. Oh. I'm done being nice. If you don't hand Ringo over soon, I'm going to get my friends and we're burning this town to the ground. Got it? We'll keep that in mind. Now, if you're not going to buy something, get out. Get out. Well, you've been causing quite a stir. Glad I finally got to meet you. Welcome to the Prospector Saloon. Oh, thank you. Show me what you have for sale. I overheard your argument. What was that all about? Looks like our little town got itself dragged into the middle of something we don't want anything to do with. About a week ago, this traitor, Ringo, comes into town. Survivor of an attack, he says. Bad men after him. Needs a place to hide. We figured he was just in shock. So we gave him a place to lie low. We didn't actually expect anyone to come after him. Uh, where is Ringo now? He's holed up at the abandoned gas station up the hill. Why not just kill Cobb and be done with it? What are you going to do? Some of the others, like Sonny, will probably stand up for Ringo if he asks for help, which he hasn't. Personally, I hope he sneaks out of town one night and takes the powder gangers with him. Powder gangers? Chain gangs, really. The NCR brought them in from California to work on the rail lines. Problem is, it turns out that giving convicts a bunch of dynamite and blasting powder isn't the best idea. <laughs> it was a big escape not too long ago. Some of them stuck together so they could make trouble. That's what we're dealing with now. Uh, never mind. Alright. What happens if I help Ringo? If you were able to get Ringo out of this mess, you'd have a decent reputation around Good Springs. I'd even set you up with a discount. Of course, helping Ringo would also make the powder gangers mad. And they've got a lot of friends out there. Uh, so if I help Ringo and Good Springs will like me more? What if I help the Powder Gangers? This is just the tutorial part. Who was that man you were arguing with? He's a convict, just without the chains. Said his name was Cobb. Powder Gangers is what they call themselves. Plenty more like him out there. I'm trying to track down the people who attacked me. Know anything about them? Not much, other than they're a bunch of freeloaders who expected a few rounds on the house. I was able to get them to pay up, though. Of course, one of the great cons did knock my radio to the floor by accident, and it hasn't been working since. Uh, did my attacker... <laughs> I don't care about your radio. Did my attacker say where they were going? They were having some kind of argument about it, but the guy in the checkered coat kept shushing them. Sounded like they came in from the north through Quarry Junction. If that's the case, I can't say I blame them for not wanting to go back. Why is that? That whole area is overrun with the kind of critters that just get mad if you shoot them. Merchants avoid that whole stretch of I-15 like it's radioactive, which it could be for all I know. We know what there is. So where were they headed? I didn't hear exactly, but the leader was talking about the strip. Fellow wants to get there and avoid the 15, he'd have to go east. Take Highway 93 up. Alright. Uh, want me to take a look at your broken radio? Sure. The outside looks okay, but I think something broke on the inside. There'd be caps in it for you. I do like to hear what's going on in the world. And that Mr. New Vegas seems like such a gentleman. Does Good Spring get many visitors? Mostly traders looking to buy bighorn or meat and hides. The traders are the main reason the general store manages to stay in business. Most travelers heading south on the I-15 just push on towards Prim. Unless they're in desperate need of supplies. Do you know about the robot that rescued me? I know that thing as much as anyone else around here. It mostly keeps to itself, which is just fine by me. Um, what does he actually do around here? Other than rolling around once in a while, it doesn't do anything useful as far as I can tell. I don't know why it took an interest in you, but I'd be careful. It's never helped anyone before. You don't like him? It acts friendly enough, but I don't trust that whole cheerful cowboy act. I find it all very creepy. <laughs> How long has he been in Good Springs? It was here when I took over the saloon seven years ago. Some people have said its owner lived here, but no one knows who it was. Never mind. Uh, anything interesting going on? There's always something interesting going on. But the biggest news has to be the coming dust up between the NCR and the Legion over the dam. Tell me about the NCR. The New California Republic's got the most power in Nevada. Money, troops, you name it. They do what they can to keep things safe in the region. But if you ask me, they're trying to do too much. They're spread too thin. Hmm. What do you think the NCR and the Legion both won the dam? 
I'm pretty sure the NCR wants to hold on to the dam because it's one of the few places around that can make electricity. The Legion are a bunch of savages, though. No idea why they'd want the dam. Probably plan on destroying it or something. Okay, what well, can you tell me about the Legion? Slavers, killers, and all other kinds of trouble. They dress up like Roman soldiers, so there's no mistake in it when you see them. The rumor is, is that the Legion is far larger than the NCR lets on, and that it's been due to luck that the Legion hasn't overrun the territory. Hmm. Be careful out there. They need to bring some of those howitzers. Oh yeah, we, uh, we leveled. Well, first of all, I'm probably going to get my speech up. Repair could be... In uh, you know what? I'm going to go... Uh, I'm going to go to 25, because increments of 25 are usually the thing in uh, Fallout. Um, guns are pretty damn low. I need that higher. Uh, I'm going to get speech up first. Continue. Confirmed bachelor. In combat, you do 10% damage against male opponents. Outside of combat, you'll sometimes have access to unique dialogue options when dealing with the same sex. Intense training, lady killer. In combat, you do... Uh, retention. With the retention perk, the bonus is granted by skill magazines last three times as long. Meh. Swift learner. Uh, you gain an additional 10% total to experience points. Whenever experience points are earned, we're gonna take that. Alright, and I will see you in the next part. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.